Welcome back everybody. This is the final installment of the Image Gallery. We're going to talk about bringing everything together now. We, we've, we've got some images created. We installed the script correctly. We've got the effect working. Now what I need to do is install my own styles and finish the layout um, to customize the way I want it to look. Okay, what we're going to do here pardon me, if you haven't done so already, is inside, okay, we're over here on the left tray here. We're inside the gallery folder here. Okay, inside the CSS folder, I went ahead and I created my own document here, which is just called styles.css, and this is where my styles are going to be. So the Slimbox styles <clears throat> that the script uses are all in there. They're, they're separate, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and create a document, styles.css, and I've gone ahead and I've styled some of these things. Now, most of this is just simply repeat. Um, of stuff we've already done in previous lessons, so I don't want to bore you with that. But I do want to, first of all, there's one issue that did come up uh, in our discussion board here, and I want to show this to you. First of all, this uh, container div, to get this to go all the way from the top of the screen to the bottom of the screen, you need a couple things in here. First of all, let's go back to the style sheet. I'm just going to tell you what these are. First thing you need to do is under HTML comma body, you need to add a height attribute of 100%. Okay, that needs to be there because uh, CSS, unfortunately, it's really good with widths and it's not so hot with height sometimes. It's hard to get things to center vertically. Uh, so anyway, what we're going to do is add a height of 100% in there. Then come down to the container div, okay? Let's go back to the HTML. The container div is what contains this element, okay? Now what we need to do is add an attribute in here. It's right here. The minimum height is going to be 100%. That's telling it the smallest you can ever be is 100% of the screen, okay? So you add that minimum height. And then finally this tag, the overflow tag. Sometimes it thinks it's tall enough and there's still content coming down below it. Like I said, this came up in the discussion boards off a of CSS thing. Uh, you want to add overflow colon auto, A-U-T-O. And that will get everything to work correctly. So if you're having that problem, that's how to, how to deal with it. So what we've got is this. Okay, now, the other thing is I've added my background. Remember we made that a couple, couple movies ago. And here's my background. I added a background image and the URL is going to be, uh, we're actually, because this is the style sheet, okay, we're in the CSS folder here. I have to use the dot dot slash because it's got to go up a directory to the gallery folder, down to the images folder, and then the images in there. And it's down here at the bottom. It's called grad.jpg. So remember, images for backgrounds are relative to the style sheet. So wherever the style sheet is, that's where you've got to re- that's where you've got to put the relative positioning for the image. So you can see I have URL because the style sheet is inside the CSS folder. We have to go up a directory into the images folder and then grad.jpg. Okay? So that's it. And you can see what it's doing here on the screen. I'm going to zoom out here. As you can see, it's repeating. So that's a pretty large image. It's about this big, square. And it's repeating both vertically and horizontally. See, it picks back up here. And I don't want that. I just want it to fade to this bottom color here. So let's go back over here. I'll show you how to add this. What you're going to do, images grad.jpg, what you're going to do is add the background dash repeat attribute. And we're going to say repeat dash x. You could also say no repeat or you could say repeat dash y. We're going to use repeat dot x dash x. Let's go ahead and refresh and now it's working. Okay. Now you can see we have a problem here because the bottom of the screen is white and I don't want it to white. I want it to be that gray. Okay. So we need to just simply assign a background color to the HTML document. Well I got a problem. I don't remember what that color was. How do you find out? Let's go back over to Photoshop and here's the original file I was working with here. Okay. Now, remember, I created this gradient by going over here on the tool palette from the foreground color to the background color. So let's double click on the background color, or click once, I guess that's all you got to do. And here's our color picker. comes up. Look down here at the bottom. It gives you this pound 2B, 2B, 2B. That is the hexadecimal value that CSS will require. Okay, so that's all you got to do is grab that. So let's cancel out of here. Let's go back over to TextMate. And right under the background color, let's give this, or a background repeat, let's give this a background color, dash color, colon, of pound 2B, 2B, 2B. Save it. Let's go back over, refresh the page. There it is, seamless. It takes the very bottom color and just extends it down. So now I have a very smooth gradient that fades into uh, just a nice gray there. Okay, a couple other things. Now we need to address these thumbnails. They're sitting one on top of the next, okay? And I put these in separate divs, okay? So let's go ahead and address these. First of all, if you look in the HTML document, we have this div with an ID of photographs. And inside that, we have a bunch of divs, okay? Let's make this really easy here. Let's create a new style. 
And what I'm going to do, and it's already created actually down here, it's going to be div pound photographs. So div with the ID called photographs, no comma, then div. So what this says, this is a shortcut, it says for every div inside of this div, apply these styles. Does that make sense? So it's going to go into the photographs div and hit every div from there. It won't include the photographs div, just the in internal divs from there. Let's go ahead and assign each one of these a width. Now I remember my thumbnails were 75 pixels wide, so let's assign that for the layer. So the, the div is going to be 75 pixels. We'll go down to the next line, and we're going to do this is we're going to tell them to float colon left. Okay, remember that's how you get stuff to line up and not go stacked on top of each other. And under that I'm simply going to add a margin so they spread out a little bit. Let's add a margin around each one of them of 12 pixels. Okay, that'll be all four sides, but that's okay. Let's go back over now. Sorry, not to Photoshop, to the browser. Let's refresh. Okay, there we go. It worked, except we have one problem. We have floated not only the four divs inside here, but we've also floated the footer div. And I don't want this up here. I want it to come below. So let me show you how this is done. Now, remember the document object model. And what we've done is we've said, okay, float the content. So if I have a float, this is what's floated, and everything else flows around what's floated. So these four are floated. So what it's doing is it's flowing the footer div. It's pumping it up saying, hey, these are floating, so they must flow around this, okay? So what I need to do is, is, is add an attribute in here under the footer. And what this needs to be is clear, C-L-E-A-R, and then colon both. You can clear right, you can clear left. We're clearing both. So it's going to stop the floating business. So we're going to go back over here, hit refresh, and lo and behold, it does now work correctly. I can go in here, I can continue to add some margins and uh, <clears throat> some other things to make this look even smoother. But essentially, this is it. This is how we're going to work. And the Slimbox is still working, looking good. So you can continue to style your project, and uh, I encourage you to do that. And if you have any questions, shoot me an email or leave a note in the discussion forums. And um, there you go. That is the final installment of our photo gallery.